These folks were enacting a political economy, right? Where Christ's redistribution of grace was materially matched by Christ's redistribution, redistribution of the world through the spirit and the church, right? As God was doing that thing, right? All kinds of amazing political economic features were changing about the world. It was showing the world what it was really mean to be world, to be creature, to be made in God's image. But even in the midst of that, right, there was a snag and the snag was this, even a structure set up for justice, even a setup, a system set up for distribution sometimes runs into problems, sometimes doesn't see, doesn't anticipate, doesn't see the ways of the system that they've set up to advantage everyone might in fact advantage some more than others. That at the same time it advantages some, it disadvantages others. What you see in chapter six is this a story where the disciples, right? Uh, let me read it to you. Um, now, during these days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists complained against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution of food. What was happening? This is Deuteronomy 25. I won't read it to you, but it's often known as the Leverite rule. In the Leverite rule was a system built into a society, right? That was God's society, it was Israel. And in this society, everyone was supposed to be taken care of. That's what it meant to be God's people. That God called a people and asked them to take care of each other and through taking care of each other to take care of others, to invite others in. But even in this system, right, they also ran into a snag. The Leverite rule was a rule that said, if a, widow, if a, a wife's husband should die, if she was to be made a widow, then someone in the husband's family, one of his brothers, need to step up and take care of her. The goal was two things. On the one hand, the goal was to take care of her materially because in this society, you needed to do that. But the other goal was the reality that uh, was the larger reality, the Abrahamic covenant, that we we're here about children. We we're doing something with children. And so the problem with the Deuteronomy Leverite law was on the one hand, it provided for widows but it imagined only a certain kind of widow, namely the kind of widow that was young enough to have children. It had an, act, an inborn oversight in it, right? Because it was already kind of drawn towards um, advantaging men, advantaging certain kinds of women, advantaging those who could have children. But within this society, even when oriented to, towards justice, there were certain forms of injustice. And so what you had is you had a situation where you missed a reality. It's a similar reality going on in Acts. You had a system of distribution and redistribution, but it missed certain kinds of people. And yet, even in a system like this, God acts, the spirit acts. In chapter six, you see a situation when the spirit comes alongside the church and helps it along and says, you know what? You're coming up short here. You need to continue to work toward this. And it was the faithfulness of the church to be able to respond in kind. 